Hello Aries! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you're new, I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. If you would like to see what those are all about, all the information and descriptions, um, all the information and the links, rather, are in the description box below. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody, welcome and welcome back. I'm hoping that you are having a fantastic Lion's Gate. It's been open for a while since the 27th of uh, July, I believe, and um, it's still going. It is so powerful. So today I have the Ishtar's Lion's Gate card from the uh, White Light Oracle. So we're going to be pulling you a card from this deck at the end. Um, this is a light themed um, reading. So the tarot is going to be the Light Seers deck, uh, the Keepers of the Light deck, and the Energy Oracle. Okay. All right, so let's get this going and see what's going on for you at this time, Aries. Um, just so you know, I'm only uh, currently on three social media applications right now, just Facebook here on YouTube and TikTok, okay? So I'm doing two-minute summaries of these readings on TikTok. So uh, if you, you know, have more or less time for your readings, you can watch here on YouTube or on TikTok. So... Also, I do offer uh, personal readings for purchase. If you would like to schedule one, you can message me on Messenger or you can uh, send me an email at the email address in that description box. I'm also very appreciative of donations and tips and my PayPal is in that description box below. In fact, there's a lot of good stuff in the description box. Go ahead, you might wanna check it out, okay? so. Um, Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I, I really just love to see new subscribers and I, you know, it just really makes my day. So thanks everybody. All right, the sun in the reverse. You are happy, but not as happy as you could be. For some of you, you may straight up be sad, but when I read the sun in the reverse, it's happy, but not as happy as you can be. There's this new beginning that isn't, uh, that hasn't begun, something passionate, spiritual, perhaps. Um, this is the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, the Nine of Wands in the reverse. You're just exhausted. It's like you don't have, you don't want to fight anymore. You don't have any more um, oomph, okay? That's these two wands together. Wands is energy. Fire is energy. That's your energy. So I feel like you're pretty drained right now. So I'm feeling like maybe you, you're, you're not really feeling very happy right now. Um, and the nine of wands in the reverse is, is just tired, sometimes defeat. So you might feel defeated, but we're never defeated, okay? All right, so the three of pentacles, um, some sort of collaboration here. I've, I feel like, well, let's just keep going. Let's see what else comes up. Oh, wow, that... Uh -huh, four of Wands. You wanted a new beginning in, in, your, uh, in a happy home life, oh, but your heart was broken. Okay? Yeah, okay. So these are, are relating to each other right now, okay? So you're not happy with a, uh, with a collaboration with others that you thought was going to create something really beautiful, okay? However, this never began. This is what you wanted. You wanted this really happy home. Sometimes this is um, divine love. This is the 1111 card, okay? So this, uh, you've been, this wounded warrior here, you've been through a lot, okay? These are all battles that you went through. And when she's upright, she knows what she's doing. She's ready for the next battle. But upside down this is yeah you know what you're doing but you're just exhausted your fire is has been exhausted all your fire here is upside down okay so you're just feeling probably both physically and emotionally exhausted and it has to do with this heartbreak yeah you wanted you thought this collaboration was going to bring you a new happy harmonious home life somehow but instead your heart is, is broken, okay? Sorry to hear that. Bottom of the deck, we've got two of cups, okay? So this is, this is the, what's underneath it all. Two people, 
Um, this, you know, you could have, this is obviously love. Okay, so you were good with this person or people before and um, now it looks like that's over and you just don't have any more fight. All right, I'm just going to put this over here. Let's see what the energy oracle has to say about this. So you've got all your elements here. You've got earth, you've got air, you've got your fire, and you've got water with the two of cups, okay? So it's like this is a big part of your whole world. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe and follow me on TikTok. Thank you all. All right, what do we got here? We got anxiety. All right, yeah, you're having anxiety right now. You don't know what to do. Um, it's making you very... Let's see if anything else comes out. Nope. Bottom of the deck. Walking away. Either you walked away or this other person walked away. Okay? That's what's going on here. So this is... This is a breakup. All right, let's see what the keepers of the light want to tell you. Okay, so they're showing me that this is 18, 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. And so this card is relating to this 9 of wands here. Um, all your, so I feel like the message for that then is that you are, um, your anxiety is a big part of what is draining your energy. Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. Okay, let's see if we can get another one. Lady Nada, heart awakening, awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Okay, so um, heart awakening. You've, ha you've got this broken heart and then this anxiety, okay? So I feel like Master Buddha is addressing this anxiety as well. Trust your inner voice. Don't listen to the anxious types of voice in there. What he means is trust your intuition, okay? So what you're doing here is you are like kind of like an inner battle between your intuition and your thoughts, your mind. A battle between your heart, heart awakening. A battle between your heart and your mind, which your mind should, you should reflect like that. You see how calm he is? But instead... You've got anxiety. So you've, what they're saying here is to find your inner, your inner zen, okay, for your mind, and then listen to your heart, okay? Awaken to acceptance and divine love. You have to accept, well, you don't have to do anything, but accept what happened. Accept things that, the way they are. You know, don't fight the process. Believe in what your heart is telling you. Not so much your mind, your heart. See, divine healing, hilarion. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others, okay? So, yeah, this is saying, you know, you go into like a hermit mode, okay? Retreat for a little while. Do the four of swords mode here, okay? Um, just get some rest. Learn to accept things the way they are. Um, also you can see this, this is the heart chakra right here. You can meditate with green stones, with pink stones, um, pink, I'm sorry, rose quartz. It's really good for heart chakra healing. Okay. 
All right, let's get your card from the White Light Oracle. These um, readings have been going pretty quickly this week. They're just so freaking clear. I, I think it's this Lionsgate energy. For me, because uh, there's a lot of people out there that will say a lot of stuff about the Lionsgate. And yeah, I read it and everything. But I really just kind of pay attention to my own life. And, I, and every year when I go through this very powerful Lionsgate, uh, it feels like... Um, you know, it's like a big energetic push. You know, I always say that it's like if you're on one of those log rides and uh, at a, an amusement park and, and you're in this log floating log in the water and you're getting brought up and up. And then when you get to the top, there's this huge gush of water that just like propels everybody forward. That's what the lion's gate always is for me. OK, and man, did it push me forward this year. OK, you've got magnetism of eros all right i'm going to put you on pause while i get the book okay so magnetism of eros is the first card in this deck this is number one okay and that is such uh like i don't know that it's the beginning it's it's very aries energy right now here i'm just going to read you this little italicized part okay it says, trust in what your heart yearns for without concern about how it will manifest. Take steps toward that which moves your heart. Reach out for what your soul wants and needs. Allow yourself to be vulnerable, for only then can you be truly held. That which appears out of reach or unavailable to you is closer than you realize. Okay, so what I'm feeling from this is like, you're denying yourself something that you want. Why? Well, you're exhausted. Okay? So, Spirit is saying, go retreat and get some rest to calm your anxiety, to learn to calm your mind so that you can actually listen to what your heart is telling you that you want. Okay? when you finally realize what you want you know and it's talking about being vulnerable sometimes that means an apology sometimes that means being the first one to call you know what i you know what what that means and that kind of stuff has to do okay not wanting to be vulnerable is everything to do with ego okay just get some rest try to find your inner zen just accept things, calm down, and listen to what you really want. Just be really honest with yourself. Don't let ego, anger, hurt, don't let any of that um, overwhelm or hide, cover up what you really want. Okay? Just that's what this is all about. This is about heart healing. Your heart was broken so that you could really know yourself, Aries. It's time for you to um, conquer this anxiety, okay, and to really connect, to understand what it is you want so that you can bring it in, all right? Well, that's what I have for you at this time, Aries. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. See you next time.